Hey, what's going on everybody? Finally back with another video. It's been quite a while. Um, apologize for that. Um, I think I alluded on my last video that I was waiting on some grails that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to hold off on that. This is kind of going to be a, a no effects special edition, if you will. So if you're not familiar with no effects, they're a punk rock band out of California, primarily the Bay Area. I, I believe they did start in Southern California, moved up there, progressively grew and blew up to be a big thing, whatever. So, they just finished their farewell tour, supposedly. Um, you know how that goes. So they did 40 shows, 40 songs, and that's, that's how they promoted it. And the last show was in San Pedro, California. So when we purchased our ticket, which we thought was the last show, then they added another one for Sunday. We went to the Saturday one. That's fine, whatever. Um, I think we had the better lineup as far as opening bands. Um, I still would have liked to have gone. I mean, go to the final show, supposedly. But uh, prior to that, and I don't want to play this too loud because Fat Mike might want to charge me for it. Never meet your heroes. Let me just tell you that. Not that he's my hero, but um, I'll, I'll explain a little bit. So they did a pop-up prior to the shows. And I figured, well, and they, they posted four different albums with four different covers and super limited, um, hand silk screened, whatever, hand numbered. Um, they're all around total. So you basically had like 166 of each color and then whatever, 38, 50, whatever the number was on the foil cover. So they had three different colored of the covers. So it's like one was, and I'll show you in a little bit, um, yellow, blue, and red, whatever. And they all, so decline, they did the decline. They did uh, the Warren Aerism and the Longest Line and Wolves and Wolves Clothing. So they did four albums with four different covers and they were all colored albums. So decline was, um, I forget, I'll show you. It's kind of like a rainbow color or whatever, which all of them had the same vinyl with the decline. Uh, Wolves and Wolf, Wolves clothing was kind of a greenish color. They're all green, but the, the, the covers are what were super unique and numbered. So I decided I probably better get, get down there, went after work, got in line. I was surprised that I was only about the 20th in line. And I thought, you know, you couldn't, I couldn't get a clear answer from them on Instagram where they posted this. What are you guys releasing? Are you releasing the fall covers? How many are you going to release? You're going to release them all because you know, damn good and well, by the time you get to the show, they're going to be gone. And I figured, well, it'd be better to have them now. And then you don't have to drag them around the whole day at a, at a festival show. So I get there and, um, finally, get to the merch and kind of starts off, I don't want to say junk table, but leftover tour t-shirts from the tour, you know, from wherever. And they had a lot of knickknack shit, like um, his little plastic uh, toy guitar or whatever, I don't know, in a box. And they had beard oil. It's like, they don't even have beards. I mean, there's just, it's to me, it seemed like it was a big, they were just cashing out. I don't know, you know, just whatever the term is, you know, just they're they're gonna make that money right now. And I, I kind of get it, but to me, I always thought Fat Records, um, who was owned by Fat Mike, the singer of No Effects, all of his stuff is really, to me, has been pretty reasonable. And, um, you know, he always does, you know, limited edition, unique colors and stuff like that, which I really like the colored vinyl. I just, you know, it just part of what I like to collect. So, and I heard rumors of what the, the, the limited edition was gonna cost. Didn't know until I got up there and it was true. And I'll get to it. But, you know, the dude behind me, before we even got to the vinyl, he had already spent, I believe, 550, 
five dollars just to me which was on junk i mean he bought a stack of patches those are kind of cool but you didn't go to the show you know and um pins and bought the beard oil and and the guitar he bought like three of the guitars and here's why i say don't meet your hero so we saw fat mike come in and I told him, I, you know, I saw these guys bringing in stacks of records. I'm like, they're not going to sign all these goddamn records if if they even come out. And Fat Mike was the only guy that I saw come out from NoFX. And I did, you know, he knew I had a Sharpie with him with me, so I gave it to him. And he saw Fat Mike sign a couple records. And he went up there to have him sign the box of that Fat Mike guitar. And he says, oh, I don't sign those. And just like, like didn't even give him the time of the day. No, oh, I don't sign those. And so I thought, I've seen him at the at the Las Vegas uh, Punk Museum, and I don't want to say he was the most friendly guy there either. I and from what I hear, that's just who he is. And I don't know. I I just want to say I saw him at a bad time, but so I, I didn't bother him. I didn't want to. I didn't want to mess with it. And then he persisted to, to, to get this thing signed. So he went back there and he finally got him to sign it. And he's like, well, where, where the F do you want me to sign this? And then he kind of scribbled and then he signed the bottom of it. And it did to me, it didn't even look like a signature. So I already started to leave a bad taste in my mouth. But I went there and I'm gonna spend some money. So what I found first, was this. This is a 10 inch comp that they did, I don't know, probably a couple years ago. Fat Music Fest for People. So I didn't expect to see these, so I didn't do my homework. And apparently there's six of these. I found four different colored ones. And the first one I came across was this ox blood with kind of, a, they call it a sea blue, I think, which I thought this one was really cool. And they were only 10 bucks. So it's like, okay, cool, off to a good start. And let's see, the other one I got, I think this might be a tri-colored one. Yeah. So again, 10 bucks. And let's see, the other one I got is, like a split purple and, oh, I think they call it, uh, what do they call this one? Um, Olive green and grimace purple. Like, I don't know, grimace from McDonald's? I don't know. And let's see. And the last one I found was this blood splatter one. And apparently they only had printed 100 each of these. So I don't know where they, they had these kicking around, I guess the warehouse or so, but uh, they did get rid of all of them because Saturday they, there was no more left. But um, um, it's got a decent lineup on it. Lag Wagon, Swinging Utters, though both those bands played the show that I went to. CJ Ramon, Masked Intruder, Morning Glory, Me First in the Gimme Gimmies, Western Addiction, Mad Caddies, Get Dead, Bad Cop, Bad Cop, Banner Pilot, and UK Hunt. I don't know. But yeah, for 10 bucks, I said, why not? Not like I need four of them, but you know, it's the collector. And so, you know, the other thing is FOMO, fear of missing out. So I, I saw this and I'd already seen this on eBay and I saw this going for like, I think three bills. And this is no effects XX, I don't know. So it's a 10 inch box set and I really want to pull these out because they're a pain to get back in. But they're all different unique covers with with all unique artwork. And they are, I believe, A-sides and demo track B-sides, if I'm not mistaken. I have not even dipped into this yet to listen to it. So I paid a buck fifty for this. And I've seen it going for well over 300 on eBay. And I... Apparently there's three different ones. There's one that's gold, 
silver, and then red. This was the only one that I saw when I was there. Doesn't show a count of which one's more limited than the other. But, um, you know, I kind of got uh, buyer's remorse when I was walking out of there and this guy wanted to know what I picked up and I told him what prices were. I said, they're a bit ridiculous. And he says, oh no, you didn't, you didn't pay too much for that. That's, that's, so that, that was, I think what it was going for. So, anyhow, I did it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. So then as I'm flipping through the records while I'm waiting to get to the good stuff, I literally saw this and the dude, two guys behind me reaches over and just like plucks it. And I'm just like, what the fuck, man? You know, I'm like, wait your turn. You know, it, it's totally breach of protocol in my book. But anyhow, so this is, um, this is a special case plus an album that holds all three of their Okay, last two albums with their, I guess you'd say EP. This one came with the EP, and I think it's like a, I think it's like a, uh, this is the half album. I want to say it's like red with splatter or something. I haven't opened it yet. I have listened to the album. It's okay. Even the other two are pretty good. I think when this one came out, I think I showed it on one of my videos, and I will say that, that with the bass line, the opening track in it that Fat Mike pulled off was pretty rad. But I got this for 50 bucks. I was happy, very happy to get this because I, again, I seen what this goes on eBay. I don't know when it was released with Fat Records and I missed the boat on that. So I think they did good. Um, you can go look and see what it goes for. It's not cheap, just like everything else. But um, yeah, I haven't opened it yet. Put my other ones in there, but uh, pretty damn cool. I was happy to get that. And the only reason why I got it is because when I got up to the register, I asked him if he had any more because I saw their stuff behind the counter and he pulled it out. And that's that's how I got it. I mean, I actually had words with that dude behind me, but an idiot. Anyways, and um, so here we go with the limited, limited stuff. So the decline. This is one of them. This was 500 copies total. And this is number 51. Now, I believe there was 155 of the three colored versions. So there's a, a blue one, maybe a purple one, I think. And it's, like they said, it's Xerox. It's on, it's not even like, you know, it's, I don't know. I guess maybe they put it together real quick, but for what you paid for it, so it came with an insert. Um, this is, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so you got two songs. This is not even EP, this is a single. This is The Decline, and then Clams Have Feelings too. Really cool vinyl. I'll give them that on this one. Really dug it. And again, all four different versions had the same vinyl. Now, here's where the part that left a bad taste in my mouth. I figured at most these were going to be 50 bucks. I just kind of figured maybe, let's just say 50 bucks. These were $75. We're talking two fucking songs, but I'm stupid enough to buy it. I mean, all of them, they were all 75 bucks a piece just for the not the foil ones. I'm not even going to say what the foil ones costed. Ridiculous. Um, so, I don't know, man. I kind of got buyer's remorse, but whatever. I was happy to do it. It was just 51 of 500. I guess I should. I guess I should feel lucky. And out of the the, they they ran out of foil on that one. And from my understanding. They didn't bring the full batch because the band kept some, I mean, which I don't blame them. They, maybe they gave some to their friends and family, I don't know, but you're dealing with under a hundred. I, I mean, I didn't do the math on that one. It was probably somewhere around 50 of the foil. It was kind of close to that on all the foil ones. And then of course, this is the one I did want on foil. They didn't have it, but out of the three other ones, um, you know, they put Fat Mike's face in there with the green hair. They had another one with yellow hair, and I forget what the other one was. I, I like this one the best. 
and let's see, this is 51 of 527. And doing the math based on what they posted, I believe there was 166 each of the separate colored ones like this. And then the foil one, I don't know, probably 50 or less. Again, it's a just a Xerox thing, folded paper, whatever. Came with an insert, lyrics, and you've got your colored vinyl that was the same on all four um, releases that they did that day for this album. So even the foil had this this color as well. And I that I like this album. This is a good album. Um, if you've never heard it before, it's it's not my favorite No Effects album, but um, Franco and American. That's classic one. Um, but this, I think this is one of their really last solid albums to me. I mean, like, it just, I don't want to say bangers, but it's a good, good solid album. I really like this one. So I thought I had to get this one. And I could not afford to get, I came in thinking I was going to get all of them. But when I, you know, when you're paying that kind of money, I couldn't do it. So I had to be very picky on what I picked up. Um, so those are only two normal ones I got versus the foil ones. So I picked up two foil ones, which was all they had left. And the one that I came up with is the longest line, number 500 of 538, which it is kind of deceiving because when you go on there and you do the math as what they posted, um, they only made 50s. 50 copies of the foil. So there's only 50 of these, supposedly. Even though it says 500 of 538. It just They just all give them all this, you know, total of 538. Again, fold out with an insert. And the color on this one is... I think this was my favorite one of them all, uh, besides the decline. It's got this orange... A little bit of a blood splatter. I don't know if it's going to come through, but um, and that, and again, that's not a full length album. That, that's an EP um, with what I think four songs. Yeah, one, two, three, four. You got the longest line, stranded, uh, remnants, and kill all the white man. So, I mean, you're charging that kind of money for for an EP. To, just to me, it just seemed very unfair. But they know that we're stupid enough to pay that. People did. And let's see, the last foil one that I picked up, because it was the only other one they had, was Wolves in Wolves Clothing. Not a bad album. Um, I'm trying to think of what was one of the hits on here. C and Double at the Triple Rock. That was a damn good song. I think I believe they played it that night too. Um, yeah, this this is a good this is a good album. It's a good solid album too. And let's see, same thing. Xerox copy from what they said, and this is the color of the vinyl on this one. Purple um, marble, I guess, kind of look to it. And I'm. Honestly, I'm not. I'm too embarrassed to even say what I paid for it because it was ridiculous. So that's what I. That's what I picked up at the pop up, um, and it just left us like I felt dirty leaving that place after what I spent. It just didn't feel right. And there was guys there that spent a couple grand. I mean, they had stacks. I know what that stuff cost in one I mean one I'm mean, like I said the dude behind me he spent 550 something dollars just on knickknack stuff and I know I saw him leave with a stack of records I know he spent well over a couple grand total and we I talked to him and another dude in the parking lot same thing he spent a couple G so they made a shit ton of money that pop-up that's just on vinyl alone I mean well no the guy bought the knickknack stuff but um it was insane. Um, so when I did get there, of course you go to the pop-up, you look at the shirts. I couldn't help myself. I bought a shirt, 35 bucks, which is not bad. 
And then they had another pop-up where their, their vinyl was and some other odds and ends stuff. So I looked to see what they had left. They had, they did not have any foil, obviously. They had this, the yellow version of this. And like I said, at the pop-up it was 75 bucks. And I look over and they had it marked up to $200. And I looked at the dude and I'm like, dude, those were 75 bucks. He's like, they told me to mark it up to 200. So, kind of messed up if you ask me. Um, even the box set that I bought of the, the 10 inch, 150, 200 bucks now at the, sh at the, at the show. So it was, it was pretty ridiculous in my, my opinion. Um, but yet I still spent money. So I'm looking through what records he had left. Um, and I came across this lag wagon, double plate in them. I didn't have it and um, it said gold. And when I finally got service that I could figure out how many copies they made of this, uh, they only supposedly per Discogs only made a hundred copies of this for friends and family. So I don't know, maybe Mike, Fat Mike sold some a couple of his copies. They only had two of them and it was 50 bucks and so I said, I'm, you know, only a hundred copies. So I figured, okay, I'm going to get it. And then I saw another numbered longest line that was from, I don't know, from Chicago or something like that. I was surprised it was still there, still kicking around. And I thought about getting it. I think it was 50 bucks and I procrastinated and then told the dude, you know, where we were standing around and. It actually was this guy that was in the back of me at the, at the pop-up and he took my advice and went there and got it. He, I, he probably got the last one because when I went back there, they were both gone. So I didn't really need it, but it's needs and wants. wants. And oh, this is the color, gold. And I had to open it while I was there because I wasn't going to get burned, get home and then find out it's not gold and I'm stuck with, you know, black vinyl or something. So while I was looking for it, I came across this one, the Flatliners, New Ruin. And this is a Euro store exclusive. And it was originally marked at $40. And God only knows why they marked it down to 25. I guess it wasn't selling, I don't know. But uh, I figured, well, when the hell am I gonna see a Euro pressing of this that's colored? Um, it didn't say how many on, on Discogs, how many they made of these, but I figured 25 bucks. I like the Flatliners. I didn't like their last album, but I, you know, I hadn't heard this one, so I'm like, well, 25 bucks, I can't go wrong. Actually, it's a pretty decent album. If you've never heard Flatliners, um, I wouldn't, I, the guy's voice is pretty gritty, but overall melodic on the band. So they're pretty cool. I believe they're out of Canada. And um, this is the color of the vinyl. Um, so kind of unique, I guess. But uh, and it's got lyrics, songs and lyrics, whatever. And um, you know, and if you've never heard Lagwagon, give them a listen to. Their Lagwagon's pretty damn cool. Really like them. So that was it. Um, it was a great show. Um, we didn't even stick around to the end because the whole family was just beat. You know, you go to those festivals, it's just a lot. A lot of people, a lot of standing. There's nowhere to sit. Um, but yeah, it was cool. Um, I guess I'm glad I got to see it. And I'm happy for some of the stuff I get. And not so happy for what I paid for some of it, but it is what it is. So, hope you liked it. If you did, please like maybe subscribe um, and look out for my next videos whenever the hell I post them. Um, yeah, so thanks.